hello guys and welcome back to our channel thanks so much for watching our videos guess what the first ever miss nigeria grace ojelude is 89 years old and also we'll present to you this amazing the first ever nigerian miss nigeria grace ojelude and if you are here to subscribe to our channel please we urge you to kindly subscribe to our channel click on the notification bell beside it and after clicking it you click on the personalized bell um the notification bell all right guys the miss nigeria beauty pageant which was established in the year 1957 has produced several beautiful ladies who are doing great in the country although we have seen photos of some ladies who have won Miss Nigeria and it would be good to see pictures of the first woman ever who won this great contest. According to the reliable source, the first woman who won Miss Nigeria is Grace Ojelude Atinuke. This great lady who was born on November 16 in 1931 in Kano State is a native of Kogi State in Nigeria. She won the Miss Nigeria contest in 1957 and at that time the rules of the contest was a little bit different because it did not involve a swimsuit competition. After Grace Oyelude won the contest, she was given the grand prize of £20 and she travelled to England where she studied nursing. Today, Grace Oyelude is 89 years of age and has achieved a lot in life. She is a professional nurse who has worked with different hospitals in Nigeria and she also holds the title of the Iyalude of Okunland and Iyalu of Isaluland. Grace is no longer young but she is still looking very beautiful. And also sharing some of her pictures on social media she looks so stunning that she is just she actually deserves being chosen as the first miss nigeria ever in nigeria although beauty is in the eyes of the beholder as some says but as other might add when you are fine you're fine this is the truth about miss grace atinuke ojeludi the first ever miss nigerian beauty queen Grandma Oyelu Day won the Miss Nigerian contest in 1957 and it is worthy of note that the pageant did not include a swimsuit competition. This Miss, this Miss Nigeria started in 1957 as a photo contest whereby contestants posted photographs of themselves to the Daily Times headquarters in Lagos and finalists were shortlisted and successful finalists were invited to compete in the live final at the Lagos Highland Club. Miss Oyelude represented the then Northern region of Nigeria when she was working at the UAC. It had been her brother that advised her to submit a photo when he saw the advert in the Daily Times newspaper. He also sponsored a flight to Lagos for the finals of the contest. After winning the contest, she traveled to England where she gained qualifications to become a nurse and Oyelude now has many grandchildren and some chieftaincy title as well. As just not as she's growing, she's just not um, clinched to the title of being the first ever Miss Nigeria but she has also earned so many title and honorary post to her name and to herself as well talking about her early life mrs oyelude as i've said earlier that she's born she was born in kano and to appear in james adele oyelude and mantan danto of isanlu from kogi state and was raised in the northern nigeria and she had a primary and secondary education between 1940 and 1952 in Kano. A nursing career, Oyelude became a state registered nurse in 1961 and became qualified as a state registered midwife SCM and nrm in 1962 after training at saint thomas hospital london she moved on to the royal college of nursing england in 1971 and obtained a diploma in nursing and hospital administration dnha 
At the Ghana Institute of Management and Personal Administration, she completed studies for another diploma. In the United Kingdom, Ms. Grace Oyelude worked in several hospitals including Paddington General Hospital, one of the former local, local hospitals at St. Mary's Hospital, London. After returning to Nigeria, she worked in Kaduna General Hospital between 1964 and 1965. She worked as a senior nursing sister in charge of the former Kaduna Nursing Home, which is now called Barua DK Specialist Hospital Kaduna from 1965 to 1977. When the Nigerian Civil War started in 1967, she moved to Makodi General Hospital. Oyelu then led a team from the northern region, the group that held, helped hospitals get ready to treat casualties of war. In the early 1970s, she worked as a senior matron and director of nursing service at the Amadou Bay Lodge University Teaching Hospital. After joining the Institute of Health, Amadou Bello University, she voluntarily retired from that post in 1985 and she was also an external examiner of the Nursing and Midwifery Council of Nigeria. She chaired the Nakwara State Health Management Board in 1980 to 1983. And as well, talking about the first Nigerian um, Miss Nigeria, first ever Miss Nigeria, in some interviews in which was made as she was asked about that as miss nigeria being the first miss nigeria in any way changed her life in which she responded no that she would say being a nurse changed her life because she was able to do what she had wanted to do all her life and also she said uh that she was asked that through the Miss Nigerian contest, I was with Sid Bean. And she said, yes. She said she told them that she they gave her £2,200 and they gave her a wardrobe and a trip to the UK. And when she came back from England after her training, she was employed by the Northern Nigerian government. And that was how her life started in Nigeria. And also she was asked that how did, when did another Miss Nigeria emerge in which she said that she didn't know but she think it was a year, a year after or two and she didn't know because she never attended anything to do with Miss Nigeria. In fact, nobody knew where she was after some time and she was invited to a few which she never attended to and she was asked that in essence that she was not near about it and she said no she didn't know it was coming and it arrived and what she had in mind was to go abroad study nursing because in those days they only have two types of education for women popular ones are nursing and teaching and those were just the two um work and education in which was given to female children as well and also she was asked that was there anything she considered like to or challenge then in which she replied no that she said all she ever wanted was to become a nurse and she achieved her ambition and that was what the that was the only ambition she had and she also achieved it as well all right guys don't forget to click on the subscribe button as well as the notification bell beside it to always get the latest news here on our platform thank you so much and god bless you